Um, this time I'd like to show you a tool that I made for the four axis. It's a small tool that allows you to um, improve the handling of the four axis while you're using uh, large materials. When you use large materials with the four axis, you need to raise this to uh, be able the chuck to rotate here. If you use larger materials, you can flip this um, just let me show you you can take them out uh, like this and if you take them out you can uh, flip them and you have a, a larger diameter so if you have a larger diameter you need to raise uh, the tool I made some racers for the for the tool and you can uh, mill larger diameters of, of uh, materials so what I did is this design that will help to to improve the handling of larger materials here because sometimes uh, for example with wood or another kind of material that you can uh, hold it with the screw uh, if you use only only the chuck uh, on the uh, on the material sometimes it doesn't have enough grip to hold it and also uh, sometimes the jaws are not larger enough to, to take this material this this material it's it's uh, already worked because it was it was bigger than this so the chuck doesn't hold the material so I made this to uh, have the function the functionality to hold the material in place with the, with the screws and the cool thing about this is that the chuck it's inserted in this uh, resist uh, resisted uh, uh, cuts here and you can place it like this on the center and if you tie this it holds the uh, the part really really strong so it's very difficult to take out and it holds it super strong and because they have these goods the torque of the of the rotary uh, axis will be uh, much stronger okay now how to use this uh, I'm going to share the design uh, on the description of the video uh, it's you can make it's made with Bectric and you can cut it uh, from um, I think it's a 21 millimeter uh, thickness this material so how to use it is very simple you put the screw on the center and then on the center you can you can see that the screw uh, goes far from the center from the uh, from this side and you grab your material and you have to find the center of your material to find the center of the material you can use um, a, a center finder or maybe um, a compass or a, a 90 degree square with a 45 degree and trace the the center there are several ways now another thing that i didn't mention about this is that this system works also very good for materials that don't have a, a round uh, surface you can use for example a square and if you find the center of the square you can put this inside with with the uh, screw and you will uh, grab um, different kind of material different uh, size and different shapes of material so this is very good for this um, well let me show you how it works and I'm gonna mention a few more things about this so you put this on the center and then you, whoop, you put the screw in there and of course this screw is not enough this is only for the center uh, the design have three more um, holes and there you can put the screws and that's it now this it's super super strong okay now if I take out this one there now 
I can put this material here and then tie this <coughs> and there you go now it's oh this one fell down <laughs> okay well you get the the idea how how this works now another another functionality that this uh, support uh, have and you can use it is that um, because because it has this surface that you can screw anything you can make this out of uh, for example nylon or HDPF uh, I don't know the name of the plastic um, you can make it with wood like this one you can make it for example with uh, aluminium too uh, and if you made it with aluminium it will be much stronger than this and the cool thing is about this is that you can make this to support another kind of of a um, uh, support for example let's say I want to mill glass uh, around the um, the four axis if I try to hold the glass with the chocks it's not gonna work it's gonna break it and with this you can you can for example make it and then glue here or hold it with the screw another piece of uh, material that could be soft or a uh, I, I don't know maybe you have to figure it out by yourself maybe you made the foam and then it will grab the glass and you can turn the glass with this so uh, that's that's another uh, test that i'm going to make and grabbing glass with the four axis maybe um uh, something that you can see it and that's going to be cool and uh well i think this have several uses than working with wood you can work with uh, several other materials than than this okay i hope you find this uh useful yes i'm going to post the files there and search for them okay well have fun with this and uh take care see you next video